All right, so the, we reinvented the CP. So the, the next step, we want to reinvent the backhaul. Unfortunately, the cat's out of the bag, right? <laughs> <laughs> OK, so uh, as you guys know, our Air Max line is built on 802.11 silicon. And we do a lot of things in software uh, to improve scalability, capacity, and latency for multi-point performance. But when you talk backhaul, right, backhaul a lot of times could support hundreds or thousands of clients. So any hiccups or anything you see in your backhaul can be exaggerated many times to, to, to your multipoint network. So the backhaul is a very critical piece uh, of, of any network uh, architecture. All right, so we can't use, you can use Air Max products, but we want something higher end. We want something uh, that's more robust, has more noise immunity, and most importantly, can support really low latencies, right? That's very important. Uh, in, in today's world where you have people doing all kinds of video streaming and voice over IP. You need a backhaul with, with sub-millisecond latency. And you can't achieve that by using 802.11 silicon and doing software tricks on top. What you, all, what you almost need is you need an application-specific design. And that's what our group in Chicago does. And to reinvent backhaul, um, we looked at four things. Well, economics is, of course, of course important, right? Backhaul solutions, proprietary backhaul solutions are still very expensive. Uh, range is, is important. You want these things to, to match the range of, of Air Max point-to-point -point links. Spectral efficiency is very important, right? You want uh, to pass a lot of throughput and, and get low latency while minimizing your use of spectrum, making it more immune to noise. And uh, of course, like I said, latency is, is very critical. So last year, um, we introduced Air Fiber. And uh, there's a story behind this. So we recruited the team out of, out of Motorola three years ago. And uh, we, we brainstormed on, on how to make the perfect backhaul. And we really wanted to do a 5 gigahertz backhaul solution. The problem is, it's almost impossible to make a DFS compliant full duplex radio because you have to listen for radar signatures, and you can't listen if you have two, uh, a transmitter, two transmitters blasting nonstop with a 100% duty cycle, right? So um, we considered making a 5 gigahertz product just for the upper band, UNI, the, the US FCC band, uh, which doesn't require DFS. But we thought, well, we want to make a worldwide product. And in Europe, you must have DFS in 5 gigahertz. So we thought, let's, let's take a shot at this 24 gigahertz band. And we knew it had range limitations, but we thought, OK, well, it could be a worldwide product. Let's, let's, uh, let's try it out. So we put our 5 gigahertz design on hold. We had, we had done a lot of the design. We put it on hold. And, and um, so we, we, we rushed uh, uh, to, to design Air Fiber 24. We released it last year, and it's doing well. Um, but one of the things about Air Fiber 24 is the range, right? So within five miles, it works great. But at 24 gigahertz, you have rain fade. Um, the free space loss is quite high. So beyond five or 10 miles, it's not really a robust solution. So, and, and what we learned is most of the links are beyond the five mile and 10 mile point. So we jumped back to Air Fiber 5 and we, we we were determined to make it work. And um, we have some very talented people in that team. And they found a way to make a DFS compliant full duplex 5 gigahertz radio. And it's, it's a completely application specific design. Everything on the radio is from, from the baseband and the, the protocol, the RF design, uh, the, the synthesizers, mixers, everything done from scratch. And uh, it's been a, a long road to get there. So, so this is Air Fiber 5. And uh, so it's a, a true uh, gigabit plus performance in a 50 megahertz channel. So it's very spectrally efficient. It's full duplex. 
And the range on this thing is incredible. We could, we, it, links are capable uh, over 100 kilometers. Um, and there's a lot in this design that, that makes it work great. Um, the antenna is phenomenal. Uh, we, we have basically a transmitter radio and an independent receiver radio, radio here for full duplex operation. And they operate on the same spectrum, right, without a guard channel. That's how we're get, able to get the spectral efficiency. To do that, you need incredible isolation uh, between these two antennas. And at 24 gigahertz, it's a challenge, but we were able to do it. At 5 gigahertz, it's a much, much, much bigger challenge. And we were also able to do it. So under the hood, there's some special things there. So this, this is one of the features the, the design team's really proud, proud of, so, so I, I, I thought I'd show it off. It's their new uh, alignment UI that's on the back of the unit. It, it actually tells you both the, the local and the remote unit's RSSI, as well as the modulation rate it's locking into. And there's a, there's a lot of great features about this product, um, and, and we'll talk about it soon. We'll have it on our website. But I think uh, what makes it disruptive and, and what redefines it as a backhaul solution is, are the economics. We were able to get it down to under $1,000. So I think, you know, the air fiber family is getting more and more complete. And I, I think now, between NanoBeam and AirFiber, we reinvented and kind of perfected the CP and, and the backhaul.